Welcome to this installation video two about how to efficiently do electrical installation of the new generation Danfoss iCAT B actuator for motor operator valve type ICM and ICM TS and for pilot valve type CVE. The iCAT B installation is split into two small videos, which includes video one showing mechanical installation of iCAT B, including unpacking iCAT B, mounting new iCAT B O ring on valve top orientation and location of IKB and fixing IKB to the valve. Video 2 showing electrical installation of IKB including usage of IKB electrical data, cable connection to IKB and electrical power on of IKB. In these videos we will give you important installation tips ensuring your safe and reliable system operation. So go ahead and check out the IKB installation video which will meet your needs. In this iCAT B installation video 2, we will show you where to find the precautions related to electrical installation of the iCAT B, where to find the technical data for the iCAT B, and how to connect cables to the iCAT B. We will also show you how to do electrical wiring of the iCAT B, how to power on the iCAT B, and finally, how to mount the optional protective cover on the iCAT B. When doing the electrical installation of the iCAT B, it is very important to pay special attention to the given precautions. Here you see listed these precautions, which you can also find in the iCAT B installation guide, which is delivered with the iCAT B and also available on danfoss.com. Here you see listed the technical data of the iCAT B, split into general technical data and electrical data. It is very important to observe and electrically install the iCAT B according to these technical data. We will not go into details with these technical data since you can find more information in the iCAT B datasheet and installation guide, which are available on danfoss.com. Here you see the cable connector sockets layout on the back of the iCAT B actuator and the related technical data. The right hand connector socket, here marked as number one, is for the control cable with control signals, including both analog and digital input and output signals. The middle connector socket, here marked as number two, is for the power cable with 24 volt DC power supply, or alternatively, a fail safe 19 volt DC battery backup power supply. The left hand connector socket, here marked as number three, is, depending on the ICAT B type, for the Modbus RS485 or Modbus Ethernet data cable and data communication, including both receiving and transmit communication. As seen, the cable connectors only fit a specific connector socket on the iCAT-B, so there is no risk of doing an incorrect cable connection on the iCAT-B. You can find more information in the iCAT-B datasheet and installation guide, which are available on danfoss.com. So let us now look at how to connect the different cables to the different connector sockets on the iCAT-B. This procedure includes connecting the control cable, connecting the power cable, and connecting the data cable. Please note that the different cables are accessories which are not supplied with the iCAT-B. They should therefore be ordered separately. You can also find more information in the iCAT-B datasheet and installation guide, which are available on danfoss.com. If the control cable with control signals is to be used, then connect the cable to the right hand connector socket of the iCAT B as seen here. Carefully mount the M12 female cable connector onto the iCAT B male connector socket and tighten the cable connector firmly. Here you see specified the connector socket references and the colors and specifications of the different wires in the control cable. This information is important to know when wiring the iCAT-B to an electronic controller or a PLC. If the control cable with control signals is not to be used, then seal the right hand connector socket with the female dust cap, which is supplied with the iCAT-B. The cable connection procedure is shown in the following sequence. The power cable with power supply is always used to power on and operate the iCAT-B. 
Therefore, connect the power cable to the middle connector socket of the iCAT-B as seen here. Carefully mount the M12 female cable connector onto the iCAT-B male connector socket and tighten the cable connector firmly. Here you see specified the connector socket references and the colors and specifications of the different wires in the power cable. As already mentioned, this information is important to know when wiring the iCAT-B to an electronic controller or PLC. The cable connection procedure is shown in the following sequence. If the data cable with data communication is to be used, then connect it to the left-hand connector socket of the iCAT-B. Carefully mount the M12 male cable connector onto the iCAT-B female connector socket and tighten the cable connector firmly. Here see specified the connector socket references and the colors and specification of the different wires in the data cable. As mentioned earlier, this information is important to know when wiring the iCAT-B to an electronic controller or PLC. If the data cable with data communication is not to be used, then seal the left-hand connector socket with the male dust cap which is supplied with the iCAT-B. The cable connection procedure is shown in the following sequence. Here you see illustrated the iCAT 600B and iCAT 1200B wiring for analog I.O. modulating control. For this analog operation, the control cable, here marked as number 1, with 7 wires A to G, is used to wire the iCAT 600B and iCAT 1200B to the Danfoss Electronics type EKC or EKE as illustrated here. Or the iCAT 600B and iCAT 1200B can be wired with the same control cable to third-party electronics, like for example a PLC. The specifications of the control cable are also shown here. The wiring procedure includes connecting analog input signals using current signal in milliamps or voltage signals in voltage. The yellow plus and orange GND wires are used for current input signal. The green plus and orange GND wires are used for voltage input signal. The blue plus and orange DND wires are used for current output signal as optional, however not mandatory. Please see the other online videos about how to configure the iCAT-B and also check the iCAT-B installation guide on danfoss.com for more details. Here you see illustrated the iCAT 600B, iCAT 600B TS and iCAT 1200B wiring for digital I.O. on-off valve operation where the ICM valve is controlled by means of a volt-free contact. For this digital operation, the same 7-wired control cable mentioned earlier and here marked as number 1 is used to wire the iCAT-B to Danfoss Electronics or third-party electronics like a PLC. The specifications of the control cable are shown here. The wiring procedure includes connecting the green plus DI1 digital on-off input signal wire and orange GND ground wire to a volt-free contact, as illustrated here. The digital output signals are optional, not mandatory. However, if used, then the wiring is done as also illustrated here. The black minus and orange GND wires are connected to auxiliary relay for common alarm. The brown minus and orange GND wires are connected to an auxiliary relay indicating ICM fully open. The red minus and orange GND wires are connected to an auxiliary relay indicating ICM fully closed. Please see the other online videos about how to configure the iCAT-B and also check the iCAT-B installation guide on danfoss.com for more details. Here you see illustrated the iCAT 600B, iCAT 600B TS and iCAT 1200B wiring of the power cable to supply voltage. The power cable 
here marked as number 2 with 4 wires 1 to 4 is used to wire the iCAT B to a 24 volt DC power supply or alternatively a fail safe 19 volt DC battery backup power supply. The specifications of the power cable are shown here. The wiring procedure includes connecting the white plus and brown minus wires to 24 volt DC supply voltage. The fail safe supply is optional, not mandatory. However, if used, then the wiring is done as follows. Connect the black plus and brown minus wires to a fail safe supply. Please see the other online videos about how to configure the iCAT B and also check the iCAT B installation guide on danfoss.com for more details. Here see illustrated the iCAT 600B, iCAT 600BTS and iCAT 1200B wiring for floating free point control which is open, neutral, close. For this operation the control and power cables mentioned earlier and here marked as number 1 and 2 are used to wire the iCAT B. The specifications of these cables are shown here. The wiring procedure includes connecting the following wires. For power wiring, the white plus and brown minus wires are connected to 24 volt DC supply voltage. For DI1 control, the green plus input signal wire and orange GND ground wire are used. For DI2 control, the yellow plus input signal wire and blue plus output signal wire are used. This wiring and operation makes it possible to increase or decrease the valve opening degree as specified here. Please see the other online videos about how to configure the iCAT B and also check the iCAT B installation guide on danfoss.com for more details. Here you see illustrated the iCAT 600B, iCAT 600B TS and iCAT 1200B wiring for data communication. For this data communication, the data cable here marked as number 3 with 4 wires 1 to 4 is used to wire the iCAT B. The specifications of the data cable are shown here. The wiring procedure includes connecting the following wires. The white and blue and blue wires are used for data transmit. The white and orange and orange wires are used for data receive. It is very important to install the data communication cable correctly and follow the guidelines given here to ensure safe and reliable data communication. As seen, you can find more details in the literature specified in these guidelines. Please also see the other online videos about how to configure the iCAT-B as well as check the iCAT-B installation guide on danfoss.com for more details. You can power on the iCAT-B once the electrical wiring is completed. Immediately after power on, the status light and display lights up as seen here in this example. The main screen layout and navigation is specified here. The iCAT B will start up in alarm mode as also seen here since the valve configuration needs to be defined to start valve operation. Please check the other online iCAT B videos and the installation guide for details about how to navigate the iCAT B and do valve configuration. As seen here, you can mount a protective cover on top of the iCAT B. This cover is available as an accessory and it is recommended to use it, especially if the iCAT-B model with display is installed in harsh environment, for example outside. Then this cover can protect the display. Another benefit of using the protective cover is that it fully covers the cable connector sockets and the cables mounted onto them. This prevents unintentional access to and removal of the cables. To mount and fix the protective cover onto the iCAT-B, do the following as illustrated here. Mount the protective cover on the iCAT B top. Align the protective cover with the iCAT B top. Mount a plastic strip through the two side holes in the protective cover so that the plastic strip is located on top of the cable connector sockets and cables. Finally, tighten and secure the plastic strip behind the cables and below the connector sockets. Please note, that there is no access to the iCAT B display and keyboard once the protective cover is mounted. As mentioned earlier, you can find more iCAT B installation information on danfoss.com. 
If you scan the QR code shown here, then you get to the Danfoss ICAT B site specified here. You can then access relevant documents such as the ICAT B datasheet and installation guide as illustrated here. You have now completed the electrical installation video for the new generation ICAT B actuator for motor operator valves. So now you know where to find the precautions related to electrical installation of the ICAT B. You know where to find the technical data for the ICAT B. You know how to connect cables to the ICAT B. You know how to do electrical wiring of the ICAT B. You know how to power on the ICAT B. And finally, you know how to mount the protective cover on the ICAT B. All this ensuring a correct and safe system operation. Please check out the other online video about ICAT B mechanical installation. Have a look at the other online learnings about the new generation Danfoss ICAT B actuator for motor operator valves. Thanks for watching.